Hello, good evening and welcome back to the channel guys. I'm going to get straight into this tonight. Basically, I first of all want to apologise. It's never my intention to give out misinformation or misguide people on my channel. And in my previous video, my first impressions of the HP Reverb G2, I did comment that in Steam VR, I had changed the rendering down to about 50% to match or near as close to the 2160 by 2160 pixels per eye of the HP Reverb G2. Now I've had many comments in that video of people explaining to me that doing that is not the correct thing to do. That I'm actually undersampling the HP Reverb G2 and making the image quality much less than it should be and it's not natively rendering the headset at 4k now i did take aboard the comments i did go online and do some reading and do some checking out so i also tweeted hp steam vr and joanna popper who is the global head of vr at hp and i asked the question in me rendering in steam vr at 50% is that correct for the HP Reverb G2 and Joanna replied and let me know that is not correct the setting in Steam VR is to leave it at 100% at whatever Steam VR sets that to is the resolution it should render for your headset now she gave me a figure of 3000 by 3000 but did say this could vary down to your PC and graphics card in use so that actual rendering figure that SteamVR puts in would actually be to your PC and your setup now people did comment that the reason for this that when you look through a VR headset you're looking through lenses and these lenses create a pin cushion effect now the screen the LCD panel behind it uh, if you look through the lenses would be distorted and so what Steam VR and other VR programs do they render the resolution much bigger because they apply something called a barrel distortion effect and effectively what that does the barrel distortion effect squashes the picture down and squishes it much like a barrel when you're looking through the lenses the pincushion effect the two collectively working together cancel each other out to give you the stereoscopic 3d image in vr now that's not to say that you cannot go into steam vr and drop the rendering level down that scale in vr is the rendering level and if you go above the scale you are super sampling or rendering this native resolution of the headset at a lot higher rate again if you go below the 100 percent you're under sampling your headset effectively lowering the quality and the overhead on the pc now something i have always been aware of in steam vr even with previous headsets and i must admit in previous headsets for some weird reason I've never really thought about the resolution in Steam VR before. I've always gone off the percentages. But what threw me with the HP Reverb G2 was having implanted in my mind the 21, 21 by 60 by 21 by 60 pixels per eye. That really stuck in the marketing of the HP Reverb G2. And for some silly reason, when I went into Steam VR, I looked at the figure and thought, mm, that's too high. I lowered it down but in me doing that I am under sampling the headset and it is not running at its native 4k resolution that it should be that's not to say that the image isn't displayed correctly because that barrel distortion will still be applied but the quality of the image would be much lower but as I stated in my previous video that in lowering that sampling sampling level actually lowered the disparity between the very small sweet spot and the rest of the image now obviously that setting is completely down to you and obviously if you want to run your uh, hp reverb g2 headset 
at its native 4K resolution, skipping out a bit there, um, you're going to want to leave it at 100%. Something I want to quickly touch on, in SteamVR, if you are super sampling the headset, i.e. going 120% in SteamVR, please remember that unless you do that per program, that is natively across all games, or across all VR games. And in some VR games, for example, racing simulators, you can also do super sampling from within the actual VR game itself. And if you apply super sampling in the game and you are super sampling in VR, you are compounding the amount of super sampling. So my advice has always been leave Steam VR at 100% and do any or any super sampling above that in the game. You then know exactly what you've set and know where your levels are. Now, as someone did comment in one of my comments, if you have a weaker PC, you can drop that rendering level down to help you out if you don't have such a strong GPU. So once again, I do apologize for misadvising people to drop that level down. If you want the perfect resolution that was designed for the headset, leave Steam VR at 100%. It has been confirmed to me by HP that is the setting that it should be now i am not the first youtuber to make this mistake and i'm not going to be the last youtuber to make this mistake uh, due to some reddit posts online when i was searching for this yesterday there was quite a lot of people claim that it was a bug or it's something that's not correct in the software absolutely wrong it is as it should be anyway thank you for watching hope you're happy i've corrected that and I will see you soon in more videos to come. Peace out.